Hello once again internet, it's me Carmen coming right back at you and in this video I'm going to be covering going to the Transforming Denby event in Newport News, Virginia. So basically what's going on is there's a big Kmart, Kmart as many of you probably know has not been doing as well in recent years. This Kmart closed a few years back. So basically they're doing a little community event. They're going to tear down the building, let people spray paint it, kind of add their own flair to it. I've got a little bit of spray paint right here. Gonna add my own little flair, see what's going on, maybe talk to a few people there, and just overall show you guys what the scoop is. So without further ado, let's get right into it. However, I'm excited about the, the, 
the potential I'm excited about what's going to happen moving forward. There's a lot of exciting things that you heard Councilman Scott talk about that's going to take place right here in, in the heart of Denver that we're going to look forward to as we continue to, to plan and we continue to seek input from the citizens on what can happen right here in this site. But like I said, I'm just excited about what we have opportunity to do here on this site. So thank you for all the artists, thank you for all the parents, thank you for all the students, thank you for everybody who came out to share this occasion, and we look forward to the possibilities of what's going to happen here on this site. Now as we get ready, this is the fun part. We're going to count down, and when we count down, Mayor Price, who's somewhere ready to tear this building down, you know what I mean? All right, we have Mayor Price getting ready to take a big chunk out of the building. We're going to count down from 10 together, and then we're going to make the magic happen. So as I slide on over here out the way, I don't feel like I need to come. Am I good here? All right, is everybody ready? Woo! I don't sound ready yet. some interviews with a couple of people at the event asking them what their thoughts were on Kmart coming down on the whole thing the city allowing people to spray paint put their artwork on the building before it meets its grand demise and here you go I hope you all enjoy it I think, I think it's a great idea because it's bringing the community together and in like a fun way and yeah. yeah. I also wouldn't expect this normally from, like, I used to live in Maryland and I'm here for college. And they wouldn't do anything like this around there. I just feel like it's really creative yeah. and it's just a fun outlet. It's definitely very unique 
and um, it's a good way to bring everybody in the community together. Yeah. All right. Um, you know, I think it's it's a very interesting thing that the city it's a city sanctioned mass spray painting. I've never heard of that before, so that, that's pretty cool. As for them tearing down the building itself, I'm actually very sad about that. I grew up in this part of Newport News uh, for several decades, and um, you know, came here back when it, it's uh, when it was in its heyday, when it was very popular, very busy, um, and over the years it just started going downhill and, and fewer and fewer people were coming, which was really sad for me to see. Right. And then about a week ago when they announced, hey, we're going to tear this building down, uh, I was, I was kind of heartbroken to hear that because there was always this talk for the last 10 years, last six years, they were going to try to restore it, you know, Kroger was going to move in, Walmart was going to move in. Um, and the, both of those fell through. I, only thing I know is I don't know a lot about what's going on. I remember driving by, and I know this place has been up for maybe like unabandoned for like maybe like four years or so. And I just saw the, the, the murals and the graffiti and stuff, and I knew it was something that I wanted to take pictures in front of. So me and my friends, uh, we just came down here to see what was going on. And that's about it, man. Yeah. Well, the first thing that comes to my mind is back in the 90s when I got my first Ninja Turtle video game <laughs> from this Kmart right here. What? That's yeah. wild. Yeah, so I was like, oh man, this is a piece of history right here that's about to be, uh, I guess, demolished is what they're doing, I don't know. But it looks pretty festive, so I came out and decided to get a closer look. I feel like it's a good opportunity for the community to come together, and also it just gives it's such an empty space, so they're finally just doing something with it, and I think it's good. I think this is honestly pretty cool. Um, I mean, the Kmart's just been sitting here empty since I moved down here in like 2014, so I think getting the community involved and letting us have like a, a fun legal way to kind of like express your artistic beliefs and stuff, it's really cool. I agree completely. That is a great way to express yourself, and if you're just going to tear it down, you might as well let people mess it up first. It's a good way to uh, make a kind of jewelry weekend into something a bit more exciting. It gets everybody out of the house. It kind of builds more of a community in like a fun, interesting way, so I think it's really cool. So some of y'all might be wondering what I think about this. Truth be told, it's sad to see Kmart go. But at the same time, the building's been sitting there for a while. It's not one of the locations that closed recently. This one closed a few years back. And basically, it's been sitting there. There's been a couple of different talks for different uses for the building. Kroger, Walmart, but none of that has materialized. The building's gotten into some bad shape. It's been sitting around, not really maintained, probably as well as it should be. I can't really speak on that. I haven't been inside it since it closed. I did actually go there while it was still open as Kmart quite a few years ago. I'll have to look back once I'm done recording this and find more of the details on that. But I haven't been there in quite a number of years other than just passing through the area, seeing the building sitting there. And I think a lot of people have thought about this. I don't live in Newport News, so I can't really say firsthand what everyone in the community thinks. But personally me, it's just sad to see a store go and exciting to see new life brought into the area. Thank you so much for watching everyone. That was a great success. Glad to have been able to go there, see the Kmart come down, kind of-ish. Add my little mark to it. And yeah, pretty much that's all I gotta say. If y'all wanna check out my links, be sure to check them out in the description below. New content hopefully coming at y'all soon. I appreciate y'all watching and thank you so much. And take care now. Peace. So if you don't mind me asking, what is it supposed to be? No, uh, just a drawing of Virgin Guadalupe, okay. Aztec calendar, Aztec pyramid, a heart, Mexican flag. I like it. Thank you.